so we're here finally in the hunter primal and this is what i hope to be an entire series which has been in the works for what feels like forever i've had so many difficulties trying to get a working save file in this game but we finally have one and we're finally going to get in here and actually get to play and this is going to be a little bit different than the other throwback thursday games this isn't necessarily a nostalgic one i've played the game a little bit but mostly here recently trying to get a save file that would work but we're going to get in here. A lot of starting out is going to be kind of trying to collect the weapons that are actually going to allow us to do anything. But I think it's going to be fun. And from the bit that I have played the game trying to get everything to work, I really do enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to getting in here. So in my testing to make sure this safe file would actually work, I did basically get the starting machete. And I got a little bit of map unlocked with the map fragment. So we can kind of see a little bit of what's around here. So hopefully... We can find a little bit of equipment before we run into any dinosaurs. I think this is a rock that we can bring along with us. Rocks can be used to be thrown and kind of distract them, so that might be useful. But generally from what I found in testing everything, it seems like running along the beach is a pretty good way to find equipment. And really, we don't want to encounter much of anything other than velociraptors until we get an actual gun, but the machete seems to do decent with the velociraptors at least. And I want to say that's exactly what I hear. So there are actually two. One is just kind of now appearing on the Hunter Mate, but two little black boxes. And those are the things we need to actually get equipment from, but I'm pretty sure I hear the little sounds of Velociraptors, so we may get to encounter them. And that's not going to be exactly great for us, but at least it will gain us a little bit of credits, assuming we can kill any of them. So what I wanted to do was kind of lure them down here onto the beach, because they're tough to see in the brush. But if we can let them sort of attack, they'll jump at us. And the ideal way that I could find to take them was actually right as they jump. If you can time that, you kill them without really taking any damage. Uh, Utah Raptors are less good. I don't think we can get away with this, but maybe it'll leave us alone. Especially with the Velociraptors being here, I think we're kind of out of luck. I mean, we could try to kill it with a machete. I haven't really successfully done that. Maybe it's going to leave us alone. And I don't see... There were other Velociraptors. Did we just get away with that? Okay. Really quickly. We're going to grab this. We're going to get out of here. If we can actually pick it up and not ID the blood. Was a little male, maybe? Big or small? I hear something else. Yeah, so... This might not be good. I was going to say, if we can get to the little inventory thing. Just kind of kill that real quick. We might be able to grab a health canister. Definitely did not hit that. So the thing is, in the bottom right there is our stamina and health. Stamina is actually used up by swinging the machete, so we gotta be careful. We can't really flee from these guys if we are swinging the machete too much. Now, I bet there are others, but somehow we are still alive, and I want to get over there to the, uh, whatever that's called, like the drop. But... I think we might be okay to make a run for it. Now, if I had to guess, there's probably something we don't want to encounter over there, but there's two more little boxes not too far from this one. We got arrows and 308 ammo, so if we could actually find a bow or a 308, we'd be decent there. Honestly, the bow is not that great, but it would be at least a little bit of an upgrade over the machete, so really slowly, we're going to scoot over there. We'll try to get whatever items we can from that, and then there's another one somewhere up in that area that I want to go and get to. And there absolutely is a Utah Raptor on this island. It's called a couple of times. Every now and then I keep on hearing something that seems a little bit closer. We do have at least a bow, but I wouldn't exactly go taking on Utah Raptors just with that. And of course, another bow and more arrows. I don't think there's any point in trying to have them both equipped. And then we also got a better shirt, so we'll put that on. I think that does help with camo. And right now, considering the Utah Raptor actually called even closer as we were moving over to that box, that might be good, because I don't think, given the fact that we're getting somewhere at least a little bit, that we want to deal with that right now. Plus, it's getting closer and closer to getting dark out. I actually have to wonder if that Utah Raptor that we hit with the machete is going to die. Its health has been dropping as we've gone up through here, and 10-26% to 26 is what it says, so... I kind of want to track it. It's down to 5 to 21 now. I gotta assume it will. And we kind of got to go this way to get to that next little box. 
That was 1 to 16, so it's probably up here somewhere. And it actually did bring it down, so unfortunately it's getting dark. But that may end up being one of the kills that I'm most proud of throughout this entire playthrough, and we're literally just getting started, but I don't know that we're going to end up doing something like that again, unless at some point we do get killed and just can't get any of the weapons. Well, we'll try to get a trophy shot of that, actually, holding the wrong thing. We did kill that with the machete, and for the fact that it is getting dark, and we got to get out of here and go find more equipment, I think we'll call that good. Apparently clicking when having the machete out does that, but once the body of that Utah Rapper actually fully despawns, lets us move forward, hopefully. We'll get up to where we're going. I'm not sure why we can't go that way, but it's like it just pushes us backwards. Finally, we got at least low-grade health canisters, so that can help. And compound arrows, if we should find a better bow. So right away, we are going to use, I'm guessing, maybe two or three of these. Should be about two. And it takes some time for the health to actually regenerate, so we're still going to be moving pretty slow until it does. But at least getting back to full health will give us some confidence to move around a little more quickly. From here, I mean, I think we might just continue up towards that area. I'm not sure if that was the map fragment I got, but it seems like the logical place to go. It would definitely be nice if there was something in here. I mean, binoculars will help. I don't know if those glasses are worth anything at all, but I guess we'll put them on. Maybe it'll look cool in trophy shots. There is a Triceratops just walking right down towards us. And they look really cool. I definitely want to try to get one. I just don't know that with the longbow we should be doing that. And to my knowledge, they will kill you. So I think we'll kind of at the very least go and check what this other equipment box is. Maybe that'll get us an actual gun. It is actually our first bigger box, which I think has a better chance of giving you something good. We have a shotgun and slugs. And actually some other stuff too. Marksman scope, I don't know if that goes with the shotgun. And then we do have more compound arrows, so let's switch some stuff around here. Let's get the shotgun with the slugs. I don't think, yeah, that scope's going to be for something else. But at the very least, we have a little bit of protection. And in the area that we're in, I think that's going to be a good thing. But nine rounds, that's not exactly something we want to be uh, using lightly. I'd still like to collect a little more equipment, but again more at least confidence to move a bit more quickly. I know this is a terrible idea, but that seems like a really high weight for a Triceratops. Like the other ones we've been seeing, even the males have not been that high. This is a female, but the estimate for this one was way lower, like only up to 8600. That male over there was up to like 11 something, and I know they can kill you, but if we're far enough away from all T-Rex, which is a complete just shot in the dark as to whether or not we are. We might be able to get that and not have anything come, like, chase us down. I really want to try to get it, and maybe we can even try the bow first. Again, seems like a bad idea, but maybe if we can get around this one, we can try that kind of thing. Oh, we might have messed up, actually. I don't know how we're still alive, but just going to do that well didn't get ourselves the mail but good to know what the slugs are capable of hell's not looking too good i feel like as much as i want to take a trophy shot we probably better get out of here and heal and now that really makes me question the decision to try to take the mail because should someone decide to come after us i really doubt five slugs is gonna be enough all that said, though, I don't think he actually fled. That is the same one. Maybe if we try the bow. I know that seems like a horrible idea, but... I mean, we got the other one, so why not? So we kind of got out ahead of him, and I think the ideal thing here is to just get, like, a lung shot, and then hopefully he flees. I don't even know if that's possible with the bow, but at this point, we might as well give it a shot. I think what's more likely is we make a terrible shot, he charges us and pins us to the ground, but we'll see. It should be the same as the longbow in Classic. Actually, that hit way under him. That hit him. Is he going to stay away? Definitely not. I don't even know how that didn't hurt us, but we're going to try to get out of the way. And at least we didn't take damage, but two remaining slugs is not ideal. I really want to get a trophy shot of that one as it just rolls down the hill. 
by the way, uh, right up here, I did see it, is another little equipment box, so maybe we'll luck out and either get another weapon or more slugs. And we did actually pick up Buckshot earlier, so it's not like we're out of shotgun ammo. I really wouldn't think Buckshot's going to save us in that kind of situation. And by the way, fall damage is not something we need to be taking when we have very few remaining uh, health canisters. But we got him. Let's see what he weighs. I am quite curious. He weighs almost 11,000 kilograms. 1,200 score. Don't know if that's big or not. All kinds of vitals hit. Neck bone, heart, stomach, liver, lungs. Not bad. Let's see what we can do for a picture here. I'm sure it's far from the best trophy shot ever taken in this game, but all things considered, for him to roll down onto this hill and then get caught on that tree, I don't think that's too bad. I actually wish we had gone up and taken a look at the initial blood, because there were so many vital hits, and we didn't actually shoot that many times. Why does that one look different? It's got like a redder head on it. It's almost kind of like the mutated ones in carnivores. We might be really sacrificing our future uh, for right now, but I want to go and look at that, and what I was going to say was, I was just curious if that initial bow shot would have killed it. I do wonder, we didn't use that many slugs. Maybe we can kind of try the same strategy and hope we get a lung shot and this one actually flees instead of runs at us and requires the usage of our last ammo. I think we'll actually go to buckshot, and again, we may be making a horrible mistake, but worth a shot, I guess. I mean, it is different than all the other trikes we've seen. And we've seen a decent number of them. We had to kind of maneuver around quite a lot to try to get more equipment. And then suddenly there was that heavier one, and we've now shot two and seen quite a few others. They've all looked the same. This one's different, so I guess we'll try that bow strat. I don't even remember where exactly we aimed it, because it was sort of trying to, in the moment, make sure we didn't die. But we're pretty close here. I guess we'll get up to this next little hill, and probably aim, like, just under where we want to hit or pretty much even dead on maybe and we're gonna cross our fingers that this one either kind of slides down the hill and can't get to us and maybe just dies from that initial arrow or maybe just flees and we can deal with that right after but let's try this at about there i think we hit it i also don't think it's very pleased with us hitting it is it gonna flee it may have been the hill okay one way or another we're going after this gonna just stop there it's good blood I think we better just wait I won't pretend that it wasn't a good bit of luck but that arrow placement is just about perfect it's right behind the shoulder and I don't know how long it takes for a triceratops to go down from a lung shot from a longbow but I think we're set I think we just gotta wait it out I really wanted this to be a single arrow trike kill but I think especially due to the multiplayer aspect we're going to have to try to get him taken down. Surely he's close to being dead. I've been trying to get him for a while. This guy does say it's uncommon. Surely he's going to go down. What is that gun? Something that we definitely don't have. I assume that's going to bring it down. There's lung blood here. Where did he actually go down at, though, is the question. So apparently seven total hits. I can't believe that it didn't go down quicker after having an arrow hit him that long. Really wanted to be, like I said, that single arrow uh, longbow kill, but still, cool that we actually got that. Kind of unfortunate he went down in the shadows, but still pretty cool. And we can see the kind of unique markings on, I'm not sure exactly what to call that, but the kind of plate on the top of his head. You can definitely see that redder color. So I think we'll go with that, get to see the longbow and everything. And yeah. I think that's a pretty cool way to actually wrap up from this point. So next time, I'm hoping to get some better weapons and maybe go after a T-Rex. I definitely think what we saw there is that the bow is not going to be enough. So we'll try to get something a little bit bigger and, well, start chasing something a little bit bigger. Hopefully next time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then.